well actually um the um, mental health services have got a really long history of being one of the most underfunded parts of the the NHS and um, being quite stigmatised and having um, uh, real difficulties in terms of staffing and resources. Um, this um, has been highlighted really in the pandemic where there's been a spotlight on mental health particularly children and young people's mental health and realizing just how little resources there are um, compared with the amount of demand out there um, and that's um, partly been accentuated by the fact that we are getting much better at picking up on a lot of health mental health difficulties and conditions for example autism we're picking up a lot more autism nowadays than 10 15 years ago and that's also because schools um, and communities are much better at picking things up um, but it does mean that um, there there is a real struggle in terms of services to meet need um, the Royal College of Psychiatrists has worked really hard in the last few years to try and um, develop um, parity of esteem with physical and mental health. Um, and that has gone a long way into addressing some of the stigmas and, and, and difficulties in terms of people with mental health services face, um, in, in mental health services face. So in terms of what, what impacts on mental health, so there's a whole host of factors and I cover this issue in quite a lot of detail in part one of the book um, and that covers a, a huge range of different factors which can potentially um, impact children's mental health and well-being um, from biological factors like what genes you inherit and your developing brain and how that changes as you grow up to um, lots of different lifestyle and environmental factors like different stresses children young people face from school um, and nowadays um, technology and has is a massive one in terms of the impact on mental health because it seems to be with us 24 7 um, a lot of um, children young people have their own phones and social media so being aware of all these things is really important um, I also discuss about the impact of um, other factors like sleep nutrition and relationships on mental health and a wide range of stressors and things like um, trauma and abuse that children young people can face um, I also discuss the particular difficulties of vulnerable groups so young carers people with physical health problems the LGBTQ population um, and and um, discuss how um, these young people um, may struggle more and things that people can do to help support them with their mental health.